हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इस वीडियो में हम बात करेंगे एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिकल मेम्ब्रेन की किस तरीके से एम्ब्रियोनिकल मेम्ब्रेन होती हैं और कौन कौन सी मेम्ब्रेन उनके फंक्शंस क्या हैं और किस तरीके से वो कैटेगराइज हैं एक्स्ट्रा एम्ब्रियोनिकल मेम्ब्रेन की बात करते हैं दे आर ऑफ फोर टाइप्स मेम्ब्रेन फोर मेम्ब्रेन फर्स्ट कोरियोन सेकेंड फर्स्ट मेम्ब्रेन इज कोरियन मेम्ब्रेन सेकेंड मेम्ब्रेन इज एमनियन मेम्ब्रेन द थर्ड मेम्ब्रेन इज योक सेक बट इन केस ऑफ ह्यूमन इट इज लेस और लेस डेवलप बट इन केस ऑफ बर्ड्स रेप्टाइल्स एंड इज वेल डेवलप्ड फोर्थ वन इज Allantois. Fourth membrane is allantois. If it's an embryo. then from this side this one it's a yolk sac second is this membrane it is called allantois next membrane From here, it covers the whole embryo. It is called amnion. And the later and the last one, the outer one, is called corion. It's called. Coronal membrane. Now, what are the function of these membrane? It's a chronic villi. It's a coronic villi. Now, what are the function of these membrane? First of all, we are going to talk about corion. From the first one. Corion. Now here. Corion act as a respiratory organ. As we know, the all function in human body is carried out by placenta. But except of these, it is less developed in a human case. But other organs, it is well developed. It uh, work as a work as. Primitive. kidney is less develop in human reason reason why it's less develop in human because all functions of a uh, sorry 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 sorry, sorry. 
work as a lungs a human what the function of lung to gas exchange gases exchange reason why it's uh, not well developed in a case of human reason is that because exchange of gases the function of exchange of gases is carried out by the function of exchange of gases is carried out by placenta so that side is not to be well developed in case of human second one is yolk sac i write it here as function yolk sac take nutrition digest it and uh, transfer it to the for the developing embryo or fetus so it so it's work as a primitive nutritive medium primitive nutritive medium or again it is less developed in case of human reason is that because placenta performing this function again and again allantois allantois also work as a primitive work as a primitive kidney means all excretion all nitrogen waste are excreted out in this pouch like structure allantois mein next one amnion amnion containing liquid medium here it work as a cushion or a sponge to prevent mechanical or physical shock of the embryo here the fluid is called amniotic fluid during cell division some parts of the cell are present in a, this amniotic fluid and these cells are known as fetal cell these cells are used to identify any kind of disorders or any kind of a chromosomal or inherited disorders in a fetus so it is used in the technique called amniocentesis which we will discuss in our next chapter and the function of this the function of amnion here is to protect protect fetus to protect fetus from physical shocks here we have to done our four membranes here the what do we have to do in this external chromosomal membrane external chromosomal membrane the membrane which is which were developed during uh, embryonic development and they perform different functions as they have to be discussed here like a chorion chorion is performing like to be a gaseous exchange means they work as a primitive kidney next one is yolk sac it will work as a primitive nutritive medium means uh, it is stored food digest food and transfer it to the embryo here next is allantois allantois also work as a primitive kidney here it uh, used to remove extra nitrogen waste from the embryonic embryo next one is amnion amnion work as to be a cushion or a sponge 
which prevent mechanical or a physical shock here